Hey, Mark Anthony here. Um, oh, you designate to the NFL. I had to. It's illustrated and it's still does an illustrate. And I'm not, I don't have to do it for a year. Uh, if I change it and I'm not changing it. It's a deal. You can't force someone into anything. You can't force a square peg, which is me, a square peg, into a round hole. It'll never fit. <clears throat> I said, um, but uh, the FDA, you know, I did that, and certain ranks to the military, done. Okay, I'm fully designated. They said I was fully designated. Oh, and the NST had to designate, but the rockets, they don't designate. <laughs> Not in the job description. Hmm. As soon as something comes up there, yes. Mm, and once again, when you're coming off, oh, it's stuck. Oh, this sucks. It's because it's cold outside. It seems warm now. Let's do it today. And it's off. I actually have two, but I, I switched it over. Oh no, so I'm sure my hands, but yes. Um, yes, I think Elder's Law needs to be repealed. I know Elder's Law needs to be repealed. Certain positions, you can't do the natural thing and ask a woman out. Or if it's a female and they're held accountable under Elder's Law, they can't ask a man out. That's a violation of our rights. Plain and simple, this is a violation of our rights. I've been held <clears throat> to the buzz term hostage by Elder's Law my whole life. I've never been able to ask a female out. Because uh, by the time I got to, quote unquote, well, minus when I was younger. Um, but when I was 14 and a half, Elder's Law applied to me. From my understanding, it applies to genius and above. Uh, if you're a genius or above that, which there's nothing above it. Um, yeah, you're held accountable by Elder's Law. Sorry, I corrected you. Yes, you're held accountable under Elder's Law. And no, I'm not joking. Uh, after, if I say I'm a genius and you ask I'm a genius, then you darn well better be a genius. Yes, I actually am. You know, my, they've stated my IQ, at least on the radio, I know. And I think on television um, that they suspect because my IQ test was done, uh, was conducted when I was 13. They didn't conduct an IQ test at 18, they didn't want to. <laughs> They're fine, you're a genius. That's the cutoff point, they don't care. Which is true. And that's all that transpires, it's you're a genius, okay, nothing new is gonna come about by giving you a new IQ test. Because once I know you're a genius, then you're a genius. Mm, yeah, I think my psychiatrist friend is my dad's friend, but yeah, yes. Uh, I actually saved my IQ test. I asked him to. I'm pretty sure he actually did. Yeah, and. But. Um, back to what I was stating Elder's Law. Uh, you can't ask someone from the opposite gender out. Mm, I don't know, changes in developments. Uh, that might give the upper hand to a certain community. In which they can't have that. Choking slightly to a certain degree, but yeah, they have to make it fair. It's not fair. Elder's Law never was fair. Um, it was supposed to be you were deemed an elder and you were expected to perform at a certain level, I thought that's fine. Yeah, I can perform at that level. Um, and you're supposed to be looked at as a pillar in the community. That was supposed to be Elder's Law, then they tacked on this stupid weird thing, weird um, additional legislation that you can't ask someone out. Uh -uh. It's gotta go. That, these are my statements about Elder's Law. 
he needs to go. Sending it off Mark Unignier. And that's why I can't ask a female out. And as somebody, I'm not gonna, as somebody doesn't rush up and ask a female out. Unless she's a celebrity. <laughs> Must equal, then they don't ask the female out. And then put, yeah, but, there's no yeah buts. A celebrity is not gonna walk up and ask you out. You have to introduce yourself to them. That doesn't mean necessarily asking them out, because that's the fact that you have, that is troubling women or individuals, men possibly. Um, you have to get to know them. And somebody's not gonna just get to know you. You actually have to introduce yourself to them to get to know a celebrity. Which is true. And I'm sure people go, well, he's not really, yes I am. They have openly suggest he's a celebrity. Talk about me enough in the media. Yes, I'm a celebrity. But it starts with friendship. <sighs> and no, somebody's not gonna sit there and be your friend. Some trillionaire is not gonna walk up and be your friend, hand you all this money, that's fictitious land. That's reality. To talk up, hey, I heard about you. To Diane, it's actually one to meet you. And that's the truth. That's why. No one asks anyone out right off the bat. They always know him first. For the most part, they know him first. It's rare that someone just walks up and asks someone out. They usually get to know them a little bit first, and then ask them out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go, oh, psycho. Just walk up, I wanna go on a date with you. Then we go, psycho, leave me alone. But yeah, I can't ask out of you. <laughs> I can't even walk up and talk to him because it could be deemed too much peer pressure. That's why is an elder is an authority figure and it's too much peer pressure on the person that, be, that they're asking out, they'll always say yes. That's not true. <laughs> Trust me, from my experience, no, they're not always gonna say yes. And I've said, Mark Unity signing off, bye. Oh yes, from the wonderful world, I'm not getting into that one. I probably can't use that anymore, NFJ. See ya.